please don't stay home in November. If you love our country and love your children as much as I know that you do, stand and speak and vote your conscience, vote for candidates up and down the ticket who you trust to defend our freedom and to be faithful to the Constitution. appreciate the enthusiasm of the New York delegation. And I will tell you, it is love of freedom that has allowed millions to achieve their dreams. Like my mom, the first in her family to go to college, and my dad, who's here tonight, who fled prison and torture in Cuba, coming to Texas with just $100 sewn into his underwear. And it is love that I hope will bring comfort to a grieving nine-year-old girl in Dallas. And God willing, propel her to move forward and dream and soar and make her daddy proud. We must make the most of our moment to fight for freedom, to protect our God-given rights, even of those with whom we don't agree, so that when we are old and gray and when our work is done, and we give those we love one final kiss goodbye. We will be able to say, freedom matters, and I was part of something beautiful. The case we have to make to the American people, the case each person in this room has to make to the American people, is to commit to each of them that we will defend freedom and be faithful to the Constitution. We will unite the party, we will unite the country by standing together for shared values, by standing for liberty. God bless each and every one of you, and God bless the United States of America.